welcome back students so today we are going to start the next part which is the target attribute of the anchor tag so by default link open in the current window so whenever you click on a link it will open in the current window by default so if you don't give any target you just make a link so it will open in the same window but if you want the link to open in another window that is in a blank document or in some other part some other uh, file or some other browser so you need to add the target attribute the target attribute specifies where to open the linked document suppose you want to open a link in the uh, second or third page so you need to you have to use the target attribute to open that link into uh, where it will open so you have to describe you have to write it using the target attribute so this target attribute has uh, four values they are given here blank parent self and top so these are the four values of the target attribute you can just read the descriptions descriptions you can understand so what will happen when you when which value if you use what will happen so next part is defining color for links you can use css to change the appearance and behavior of hyperlinks but let us first learn about kinds of link and their behavior so you can use css now css stands for cascading style sheet now cascading style sheet is used to change the appearance and the behavior of the hyperlink but for now we will be discussing the kinds of links number 1 is standard link second is visited link third is active link and fourth one is hover so what does this links specify the standard link specifies a link that has not been visited yet so this is standard link it will just if you see on a page the link which appears is standard link simple so if if there is a link that is standard link so if you click on that link it becomes visited link and when you click on that link and you are you are surfing the net you are using the net and you are using that particular uh, page that means it is active link and hover means just when you move the mouse the mouse pointer will change the appearance the mouse pointer will change into a small hand that when it becomes a small hand that part you call it as hover next point is creating an email link so if you want to send an email mail to is required before the address when a user clicks on the link an email client open opens and the user can send a message to that email address consider the following html code to create an email link so email link means uh, what uh, if you say if you are sending something suppose if i send this video link to you so in youtube suppose youtube i will just copy the link and send to you when when you click that part you will be directed to the youtube so youtube uh, which video link i am sending you you click the link and you open the video so in that way only you can send a email a link in the email so if you want to send a link through email you have to use the mail to option mail to is required before the address so that this is what you have to remember in this point and then you have a uh, this uh, a link is given here a code is given here just you go through the code and then the output is given you can see in your book page number 
images as links so before this we learn about email as links now images as links many a times you may want to have an image that is linked to some information related to that image so if someone click on the image the user is directed to the information for example uh, simply place the image source using the image tag between the a open and a tag close a tag is the link tag so what happens uh, here if you uh, if you create a image as link suppose a image of school is given so you will understand that when you click that particular image you will be directed related to that particular topic you will be given information so if you are clicking on the image of a school so you will get the information about that particular school understood so here one example is given it is also related to school but when you insert or when you create a image as link you should just keep in mind that you can use only dot gif dot png or dot jpg file format you cannot use dot bmp file format it will not support in your browser so if you have not entered a border setting you will see a small border around the image after turning it into a link so if you use a image as link you will see a small border a border will be seen so suppose you don't want if you don't want the border you need to write border equal to zero it is given here so you can use border equal to zero and then it is recommended that you add height and width attribute to the image tag which will allow the image to assume proper pro proportion on the web browser so what happens height and width if you uh, specify if you write the height and width if the image is uh, large size it will come according to the height and width given otherwise the image size will come as it was and it may be it may not look nice it may cover the whole browser whole window so it, it will not look proper so that's why you have to use the height and width attribute so as you will do in the uh, computer when you will insert the image you will uh, come to know about this and next point which you have to remember always use the alt attribute to tell the surfer what picture is expected there e in case it is not loaded so suppose sometimes it might not support sometimes the image might not appear on the screen so you have to use the alt attribute so alt attribute when you use you will write there that what image the user should expect so if it is a school so you just write alt school alt equal to school and then uh, if the picture is not coming that this sentence will come that image of a school okay so whatever text you write it will come next next our next topic is creating frames now why are frames required the most the important question it is a important question that why do we need a frame now frames allow us to open more than one web page simultaneously in a browser window frames divide the screen into rectangular areas each of which can contain the html document so here what happens frames will allow us to open more than one web page simultaneously that means at the same time you can open more than one page on the on one window on one browser okay so when you create an html file if you just create an html file it will open one file will open but if you want to open two html file in one screen you have to use the iframe tag 
so this iframe tag is used to define an inline frame that enables you to present another html document within the same window the attributes of iframe tags are given in table 4.2 so here are some attributes given which will help you to use this tag more properly so if you want to give frames in your window so how much frame how much width how much uh, height it will be you you want to give the border or not so those things will be decided and src is one of the important attribute of this uh, tag so src what does is it do what does it do you are it will locate the url of the page to be displayed in the frame so in the frame in both the frames what file will appear this will be decided by the src how much width how much height it will have it will be decided by the height and the width attribute and seamless attribute will show an inline frame as the part of the containing element okay so here values are also given you can just go through one example is given below that you can just see the example here it is given in the next page if you see uh, main html frame 1 frame 2 so you can open your book and you can see page number 80 and 81 you can just go through you will see how the frame is created we learn about inserting images inserting frames next topic is inserting audio and video now this is very simple audio tag we need to use the audio tag if we want to insert any audio file in our web page so there are some attributes given here you can just go through this attribute if you use it will help you to insert a audio file so audio tag is used to insert audio file that is sound file and next point you have there is one example given you can just see and here example is given so you can just go through and then you have the video tag the video tag is used to insert video file in an html document various attributes of these tags are shown in figure uh, 4.4 so you can just see the figure 4.4 so attributes are also more or less same uh, src height width autoplay and control so the last topic is the embed tag you can also add an audio or video file to an html document using the embed tag so here uh, attributes are given so here three attributes are given here src height and width so src as you know it is the source so it will specify the url of the video or the audio file to be played so src is very important uh, if you have noticed you can see src is available in all the attributes in all the attributes maybe in uh, image tag also it is available so image src you have to put in audio also in video also in frame tag also so uh, everywhere it is uh, it is one of the important attributes of all the tags you can say and height and width will specify how much uh, at what height and what width the file will appear on the windows on the screen so this tag is essential essentially used as a container for inserting an external or interactive application on the web page such as plugins to insert an audio and video file the html tag is given in the next page page number 86 if you want to see you can see and thank you for listening so I, we will begin the next uh, chapter 5 in our coming classes. Thank you so much for listening.